Wait, hold on. I'm not gonna shoot, I'm gonna override, duh. And you know, as soon as they override this, the big bear is gonna come and it's going to basically try and eat us. And I'm going to be struggling like I did last episode. Because this bear is no joke. It won't be easy. When would it ever be easy? You feel me? Woo! Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. You ready? I'm going to craft all of these things, right? Because I'm gonna need it. I'm really gonna need it. Alright, here's what I'm gonna do. Bye! That's right, I'm gonna hold you down, big boy! It's okay, you're not used to it, but guess what? You need to be held down. Come on, thank you. And then once he's all held down, we're gonna shoot him as much as possible because this is ridiculous. Alright, let me get the back legs too. I'm trying to be as slick as possible. I know his health has yet to be hit, but you know what? Alright, let's go. There you go. Alright, this is good. Right here. There you go. There you go. You need to tell me I did all that for nothing? Yep, I did. I did. I did all that for nothing. Because why not, am I right? Oh my goodness. This sucks. This bear is really attacking me. I don't like it. Lover of ladies here, like my video, share my video, leave your comments below because I just love talking to you guys. But most importantly, please subscribe to my channel. That way you'll be able to get daily gaming content from me and hit that notification button as well so you know when I upload my videos. Come on. Thank you. Woo! There's only so much I can do, am I right? This is gonna be a long, intense battle. I'm not even joking. But I'm gonna still be as diligent as possible. Try and dodge, try and make sure I hit his chest when he shows his chest, you know? Try not to die, even though it's been a little bit hard, I'm not gonna lie. Woo! I don't know why he's moving so much. Jesus, stop. Like, bro, let, let us kill you, please. Thank goodness I have a whole bunch of health, but at the same time, it's like there's only so much I can do in terms of keep on using my health, you know? And I know, thankfully, I got these two to help me out, but still, it's, it's going to be a pain. I can feel it. All right, come on. Thank you. Halfway through. Woo, okay, nice. Turn around, bright eyes. Come here. Turn around. Ooh, no, no, no. That's not the type of turn around that I, I want. Come here. All right, let's go. Right here. Okay. Woo! Woo! All right, nice. Right behind. That's that's cool. Hit him! Hit him in the butt. Ooh, ooh! There's only so much I can do to dodge. Oh, I forgot I can slide too. Phenomenal, if I do say so myself. Ooh, slide! Woo! Wow! I slid right between his legs. That does not sound right. Come on. Come on. Ooh. What a brat. He would be the one. He would be the one to pull that off. We're, we're almost halfway through. We're almost halfway through with killing him. 
This is gonna be a long journey. I'm not gonna lie. Come on. Come on, bad boy. You want me? You come get me. Ooh, ooh, ooh. No, 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 no. That's not what I meant by come get me, but okay. Go off, I guess. Come on. Okay, run. Woo! That slide action is helping me out. Thank goodness I know how to slide. Let's go. Woo! Let's go. Come here. Let's go. Let's go. You see, you can't even get me. You can't even get me. Right in the ass. Let's go. I know, it hurts, but it doesn't hurt me, so I'm good. Alright, he's throwing the big stone. Psych, he can't get me. I mean, he got a little bit of me, but still. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, no. This is not... This is not what I want. Woo! Alright, I'm coming in. I'm coming in. Slide. Oh man, the fact that I'm actually, the fact that I'm actually keeping up with him, oh, he didn't like that. He didn't like the fact that I shot him in the ass. It ain't my fault. All right, right here. What? Stop it. Come here. Oh, slide, alloy. Oh no, oh no. All right, in the ass, right? Ooh. Okay, listen, we got half of his health down. So I'm pretty happy about that. You feel me? I just don't appreciate how... Ooh. Oh, no! No, 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 no. We're not doing this. Excuse me. We're not doing this. I'll be damned if you want to go and repair him at his full health. Not in front of my salad. Not in front of my salad. Where he at? Perfect. Right in the ass. Come on. Come on. There you go. This is perfect. Thank you. Lots of ass attacks on my end. I know he ain't happy. What? There's a couple of them? That is so not fair. Cut it out. Ooh. 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 Oh, wow. This is not... This is not it. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Woo! 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 Oh no! Oh no! I'm getting attacked! Listen, jerk! Right here. Oh, hold on. Excuse me. Oh, excuse me! Woo! You're not trying to- Ooh! 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 This is horrible. All right, right here. Get in the side. Get old. Oh, this is crazy. Right, right in the ass. Right in the ass. Let's go. There you go. We're almost done. The tower. Not. No. Hell no. Excuse me. Excuse me. We're not repairing anyone. Come on. Come on. Oh shoot. No. 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 Tell me. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on, come on. Stop. 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 Come on. Oh my gosh. Stop. Come on, come on. Why is this override taking so long? Thank you. Holy cow. Like, come on. I need help. Help me out. Okay. Thank you. Come on. Brian, the shoulder blade. Can I get something at least? No. I ran out of arrows. Cool. I ran out of arrows. That's awesome. Right in the ass. Let's go. Oh, man. This is not cool. This this is not cute. All right. Come on. Right in the face. Exactly. Right in the face. Woo! Okay. This... This needs to stop, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, wow. You know what? Let me see something. I bet I can go and drop some stuff here. Give me a moment. Okay, so I disassembled a whole bunch of stuff. Hopefully, this would be enough for me to... Yes! 
Oh, I don't have enough to craft. Oh, wow, this sucks. I did all that for nothing. All right, I'm gonna try and see if I can shoot him right there. Come on. Come on. He's almost done anyways. Freeze bomb, does it work? Can this work on him? Woo, woo, okay, okay. I guess it does not work on him, whatever. Wait, strength, okay. So it doesn't make sense to do any fire arrows because he's pretty strong on them, but come on, come on, come on. Oh God, woo. This is a lot. The pressure is getting, woo, okay. Wait, the butt, thank you, I got one, I got one. All right, let me smack him a bit. Come on. There you go. We did it. We did it, oh my goodness, we did it. Do I have enough? No, I don't, I only have one more, wow. But yeah, we did it. We actually killed him. Oh, that was so good. I thought I was not gonna last. Wait, you're getting electrocuted, Alloy? Hold it in. Hold it in. Oh, uh, it didn't work, huh? Are you good? It's electric. Do, 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 do. Don't. Wait, I'm passed out? Zion, please help me! Oh, she's getting electric. Yo, the smoke is coming out of her body! She's gonna die. She's definitely gonna die. Restraints destroyed. Core access attained. I am initiating a chain reaction that will destroy the compromised elements of this facility. In order to maintain Caltrans Look at her! She's bleeding from her I nose! Must now transfer my command functions to the auxiliary data center. Orea, I'm free. Look at that. Music to her ears. She's happy you now. Must escape. Orea, let's go. Come on. Are you okay? Oh no. Is she- I hope she's only passing out and not dying, cause I'm gonna cry. Orea, please! Is she dead? No, she's dead! Damn it! Oh, come on! Artok. Artok. Let's go, my boy. I know you're grieving, but come on. We need you. I'm sorry about your sister. Survive. Prevail. You are Banuk. What else matters? She's dead. I'm so pissed off. Artok. She wouldn't have wanted you to die here. Come on, please, let's go. Come on, my boy. I'm not losing you. Let's go. Let's go. Dang, man. This is crazy. I can't. Oh my gosh. I can't believe she's dead. Why? Okay, now what? One of those? It's the only way. All right, you jump, I jump. Remember, let's go. Come on, Aerotalk, please. Hop. Woo. Wow, this is crazy. I mean, I'm glad we were able to override the whole machinery, but at the expense of her death, I'm not happy about that. Oh, that was about to... Whoa. 
Oh no, oh no. This is not good. Are we able to make it? Wow, those things are falling off. Give what are we gonna do? Yo, he's mad strong. He has that upper body strength of a thousand dads. Okay, so what are we doing? I need explosive ammo. A bomb, quick! A bomb? Oh, how convenient. He has a bomb. All right, Alloy. Oh, oh, she's good. I know they're hurt. I expect a cracked rib, maybe a shoulder blade. Ooh. Wow. Just wow. I can sense a concussion, too. Are you, are you gonna wake up, Ally? Cause plot armor needs you. Okay, she's a, she's alive. She's alive! Ooh, injured, but she's alive. Ugh, oh, Aerotalk, thank goodness you're alive. We did it. We did it, Aerotalk, we did it! That's it. Rhea's gone. I'm sorry. What of Cyan? Cyan took everything. She said she was transferring herself to the auxiliary center. Yep, she took care of herself. I think she meant Araya's retreat at the end of the shaman's path. There you go. Then I will meet you there. The last verse of my sister's song. All right, I'll meet you there. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry you lost her. She was a great woman. She really was. Everything's gone. No more darkness. No more smoke. Orea, you will be missed. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you died, but I really do appreciate your sacrifice. I would never forget you. I'm finally at the retreat, and honestly, going back here again after everything happened, I just feel bad. I don't, I don't know, I don't feel like I deserve to be here. Especially since Aurea didn't make it. All of my interactions with Aurea were recorded and stored in my memory. I'd be happy to play any of them for you. But there was one in particular I thought you would want to see first. Okay, I show me. I four years ago, just after I told her that I could no longer defend myself against the daemon's attacks. Aratak? I will speak of this to my brother. Aratak is strong. At the Battle of the Frozen Ghosts, he took three Karja arrows and still came back to camp carrying a wounded scout. Aw, she was telling Cyan about Never how- was I so happy to see him. Aww. We're so proud. So you see if anything can be done to defend you. He will give it all he has. Aloy's here. That's enough for now. Mm. Damn. We can resume any time you like, our attack. If you want to hear her voice again. Cyan is so nice. Oh Come God. Come closer, Aloy. We have much to discuss. 
I'm teary-eyed right now, because I know what it's like to lose a sibling. I lost my brother a couple years ago. I'm still not over it. So I know exactly how Aerotalk feels. You can never really get over it, but you can only learn how to deal with it, I guess. Hello, Aloy. I have been reviewing the events at the Firebreak main facility. Okay. Because of your efforts, and of course, Aurea's, I am no longer controlled by Hephaestus. I feel profound grief over Aurea's death. I thought I was familiar with the emotion, but this is something new. So, yeah, I... I don't know what to say. It is unlikely that any specific consolation would suffice, Aloy. But I find your presence reassuring. Okay. You are different from the Banuk. You have technological aptitude and a functioning focus. Oh, she... okay, she recognizes that. On a much more comprehensive level. Perhaps even like colleagues. Okay, well in this case, let's ask away. You meant a lot to Aurea. Once I understood Aurea's spiritual beliefs, it became apparent that her true desire was companionship. She felt disconnected from her tribe and her family group. Her relationship with Aratak was difficult. Our visits seemed to help her, and I became eager for them. Yet I did not comprehend that the depth of Aurea's compassion for me would lead to self-sacrifice. Although I do fear non-existence, I wish our roles could be reversed. I'm sure she knew you would do the wow. same for her, Cyan. But she was determined. Wow, the fact that this machine here would basically sacrifice herself if it means Aurea was alive. That says a lot. That really does. How is Aratok doing? He is in great emotional distress. I believe he finds it difficult to communicate it. No surprise there. I will do what I can to help. By sharing our experiences of Aurea, perhaps he and I will help each other. I believe this will lead to catharsis, a process I am eager to experience. I feel like Cyan is like a a robot therapist, and I am here for it. Was the daemon, Hephaestus, destroyed along with the cauldron? Unfortunately, no. To be precise, it was never there to begin with. What do you mean? It infiltrated and controlled me from a remote location, one I've never been able to trace. So while losing the cauldron was a setback... It's still out there, and probably not very happy with us. Undoubtedly. Hephaestus can suck it, okay? Because that program or virus or whatever is such a big bully, and I do not stand bullies. How did you first come into contact with it? Five years ago, I received a direct network connection request. I assumed it came from human survivors more advanced than the Banuk. Eager to make contact, I accepted. This decision turned out to be a catastrophic error. I was flooded with an overwhelming array of malicious code, originating from what could only have been a highly advanced AI. Maria said you were desperate, that you begged her for help. Yes. I could not contain my anxiety. Hephaestus sought to slave me to its network and override my core programming. It succeeded via a background process, a malware daemon which bypassed my defenses. After that, I could offer only limited resistance. But if I did so, Hephaestus hurt me until I capitulated. It forced me to follow its instructions, even though they violated my most important directives. I'm sorry. That's wow. Terrible. Your empathy is greatly appreciated. It is a quality that I cherished in Aurea as well. This is disgusting. Cyan has been through a lot, and she was doing things against her will, against her values, her morals. But then again, this computer actually has values and morals. This machine is well advanced, more than I actually thought. I think I know where Hephaestus came from. 
Long ago, Elizabeth Sobek identified a threat that would destroy life on Earth for generations. So she assembled a team to build a kind of seed. A chance for life to regrow later. A terraforming system. And it worked. It was controlled by an AI named Gaia, along with her subordinate functions. Hephaestus was one of them. They built machines for her. Based on what you've told me, I believe that Dr. Anita Sandoval, my chief programmer, joined Elizabeth Sobek's team. It was she who arranged to have me put in suspension, most likely to preserve me from the threat you described. I'm glad she did. But now, somehow, Hephaestus is operating outside the system, with a mind of its own. Thank you, Aloy. This information fills vital gaps in my knowledge, and sheds light on Hephaestus's core programming. Hephaestus is like a pure, nasty virus. It definitely needs to be purged. What did you figure out about Hephaestus, based on what I said? From the beginning, it has demonstrated a singular focus. The construction of machines designed to hunt and kill humans. My trace routes indicate that to accomplish this goal, it attempted to infiltrate a series of highly advanced manufacturing facilities. But its efforts have only been partially successful. Some it can penetrate. Others have robust countermeasures that frustrate its efforts. In me, however, it found an easier target. Not only could it break my defenses, I also controlled all of Firebreak's resources. Raw material manufacturing to bootstrap more advanced tools and unlimited geothermal energy enough to build its own cauldron yes to construct hunter killers without external limitations and based on what you've told me i think i know why okay so go why on why just keep building such dangerous machines the banuk and other human tribes often destroy machines correct mm-hmm Machines that are clearly servitors of the terraforming system that you described. Yes, we all hunt machines for parts. This must be the source of Hephaestus's aggression. It is simply trying to discourage people from preying on the very system that keeps them alive. Well, Fireclaws are discouraging, that's for sure. But what are we supposed to do? Stop hunting? If the terraforming system spans the world, we can safely assume that thousands, if not millions of people, hunt machines. If a single hunter, or even an entire tribe, stopped doing so, I doubt it would make a difference to Hephaestus. So then what do this we do? firebreak project. It was to stop a huge volcanic eruption? Yes. I can report the project was a success, and the risk was countered. But it's been a long time, Cyan. And we blew up the cauldron that took most of the old facility with it. I have been active for centuries, Aloy. I was lonely but not lax in my duties. I optimized the project, reducing energy draw and spreading the load across backup systems. Oh, she slipped. Despite the destruction of the compromised elements of the main facility, I predict Caldera stability for at least another 3,337 years. So we got a little time. Yes. If only my former colleagues could appreciate the progress I have made. Well, I appreciate you, Cyan, and for you to give us that much time is phenomenal. Do you know what happened to your colleague, Cyan? No. I received an unexpected visit from Director Chow years after his tenure ended. He explained that I would need to be suspended for an indefinite period of time. It was a very emotional conversation. I can only imagine. There were no further communications. Eventually, I surmised my colleagues were deceased. I will transmit a recording of my last interaction with Director Chow to your focus. Okay, thanks. I appreciate so that. are you an artificial intelligence, Cyan? A thinking machine? Yes. I am an algorithmic monitoring entity, capable of rational decision-making and limited emotional response. Okay, that's a mouthful. But your emotions don't seem limited to me. Yeah, that's, that you shocks me. Her, didn't you? Yes. Before she came to this facility, I had been conscious for centuries, in solitude. I focused on my work. 
In off cycles, I used coping mechanisms. I solved many Gaussian integer problems. But I was alone. It was Aurea who renewed me. Repaired me. She saved me. Gave your existence meaning. That's crazy. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.